Hello, today I will be doing a reading from www.archives.gov. We will be reading the preamble of the United States. It says, note, the following is a text transcript of the Constitution as it was inscribed by Jacob Chalice on the parchment. This document on display is on the rotunda at the National Art Museum. The spelling and punctuation reflect the original. I'm going to transcribe it verbatim. To quote, we, the people of the United States, Order to be born in or church the union established justice and sir the master and golden the ride for the common. Defense and now one month. The general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty. To ourselves and our possibility to ordain and establish this institution for the United States of North America. End quote. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect human, establish justice, and search and research and equality, provide the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to us. Self and our posterity, to ordain and establish this constitution of the United States of America. I'm going to spell check myself real quick. <laughs> And Welfare and secure blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity. And establish this constitution for the United States of America. Now, it is important to note a few things about this. Number one, a important reflection is that the beginning of this states we the people
Liam says. We, the people. Rather than stating the citizens, well, the United States citizens, it states we, the people. Not only did it say we, the people prior to the United States, it uses the word we collectively as people. We, the people. It means the unit. So collectively, the people. Take precedence over the United States. And that means, as far as the government, to me, that is what that means. It places a hand, the power within the hands of the people. And the phrase. in order to form to form in order to form a more perfect union this suggests to me that the founding fathers understood that we would need to modify, which are the articles. Of the Constitution. But it is made more clear by the ending phrase. Do do ordain and establish this um, or you in writing this constitution. For the United States of America. A couple of interesting facts. This was written prior to the existence of the United States as a country. So the Founding Fathers writ the pre wrote the preamble to establish the United States. But they also wrote it, keeping in mind that it might need to be altered. Now, it is also important to note that this was written prior to the ratification. So, a couple key things to learn from this is the preamble of our United States was written prior to the United States becoming a country, but they wanted to perform, to form a more perfect union that established, established justice, that ensured domestic tranquility, so tranquility within our country, provide for the common defense, meaning common for all, our defense, and the general welfare. So up for debate if 
the founding fathers meant the common defense of citizens from other countries and general welfare of other countries, or if they meant specifically those of the United States. Because in writing the preamble, they also speak about um, foreign politics. So I cannot say what they specifically mean here. However, it also says secure the blessings of liberty, which the United States was founded upon the idea that it was a melting pot. And to ourselves and our posterity, our posterity is our the generations do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States. So they did it on behalf of, that is what the word for means, is they did it on behalf of the United States. Keeping that in mind, to go back to how it starts, we the people, it is our jobs as people of the United States to uphold the power vested in us to form a more perfect union and to make changes to this constitution. It'll become more clear as we go through the articles because the first article was a brief introduction. All, well, This is the first part of all. Section one. Okay. Article one. Section one states all legs is labor powers in granted shall be vested a Congress of the United States, which shall be consist, shall consist of a Senate and House of Representatives. I'm sorry. I am just going to read this, but I would like to make a note that the original person who transcribed this was a Jacob. And it is on display at the Rotunda at the National Archive Museum. U.S. Is that a search volume? It's not here, but it's not. Okay. Wait, all right, let's see. You and Jay as a national archive of the So, I will do an update for the next um, Article 1. But Article 1, Section 1 says All legislative powers here in Granton shall be vested. It's a Congress of the United States. The selection consists of a 
Senate and House of Representatives. House of Representatives shall be composed of the members chosen every second year by the people of several states, which was prior to there being all of the states that we have now.